Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And Disney is going to have some more competition. They are. He-Man. Yeah. He-Man. Yes. He -Man. Masters of the Universe, yeah. Masters of the Universe. Yeah, Mattel is building its own theme park. And uh, I was not aware of this. Apparently, there were announcements made last year, but uh, He-Man is going to be coming into this park. Hot Wheels. Barbie. Uh, Barbie. Uh, Thomas the Tank Engine. And between this and Universal getting Nintendo, you know, again, there are going to be a lot of options for families outside mm -hmm. of Walt Disney well, World. Well, then they have, Land. like, Lego keeps getting stuff, and then they had the Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Peppa Pig Land. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, so there's all kinds of things coming out of this. Now, this is actually between Marvel and Epic Resort Destinations, LLC. It's going to be in Glendale, Arizona. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's going to be opening, they said, Q1 of 2023. Is the, the estimate. Yeah. Well, they've been talking about, I guess, since last year, which I didn't even see it, yeah. apparently. Yeah. Um, they made an announcement last year. But today they announced some other things that are coming to to the park They had, uh, on top of what they announced last year. Yeah. So let's let's talk about this. Uh, pretty interesting. And we're going to talk about how this is not He-Man's first time in a theme park. In fact, it's uh, the first time. It's not his first time. He-Man's right. been there, done that before. He-Man and She-Ra were actually in Universal in Hollywood back in the 80s which I did not know. No. Um, I went to Universal in Hollywood, but not until the early 90s. Well, she, yeah, and then New Shear was at Universal in Orlando, which my nephew thought was hilarious to get a picture and send it to me. Yeah, right. He still he still talks about it. It entertained him greatly. So we're going to talk about all this before we get into it. Any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, over 268,000 subs. Yay. Thank you for the support. We do talk about pop culture. We talk about theme parks. talk about Disney. talk about He-Man. Uh, having grown up with... Masters of the Universe and Princess of Power. Um, pretty interesting stuff that they're going to do their own. Mattel's going to do their own theme park, Mattel Adventure Park. Hopefully it's not Mattel's Action Park. No, it's Adventure. Yeah, hopefully it's not Action Park, but it's Adventure Park. And again, it's with this Epic Resort Destinations. Now, that was today's announcement. This goes back. Let's go back to the Wayback Machine and go back to, to June of last year. Mm -hmm. Apparently it was, it was announced then and I somehow missed this. Yeah. But um, yeah, so here's the Hot Wheels roller coaster. Okay. They're going to have a, a Hot Wheels roller coaster. They're going to have a life-size Thomas the Tank Engine electric battery-powered passenger train. I have to wonder because they have uh, Thomas the Tank Engine stuff in Kennywood. And I have to wonder if they're going to just move all the Thomas stuff well, to... The maybe not because that's on this side of the country and this other park's yeah. way on the other side. Hmm. Thomas stuff's huge. Um, I know my nephew was totally loved Thomas. I think Thomas. He yeah. was big on it. So they're going to have the Hot Wheels coaster. Yeah, they have some other. Oh, oh yes. Here, yeah, we're going to look at some pictures. They yeah. have, um, they're going to have a go kart. Hot that's go -kart that's pretty racing. cool. I would love um, this, man. There's, do they have more pictures yep. here? Yeah, there's, there's the Thomas train that goes around while you're doing the Hot Wheels, you know, go karts. Um, Look at this. This is cool. So I'd be afraid my kid would drive it right off. But uh, yeah, right. they have go karts like that on cruise ships now. Like, so apparently I, they're, <laughs> they're safe. Here's like a pool area and a hotel. That they're going to have with it. Yeah. Um, and like I said, this is last year. So here's where they were just starting to build it, apparently. Um, but we got some new announcements today. And now we're going to bring in Barbie and some other things. So we're going to have some ass kicking over here. All the IP. All in one place. Now hear me out for a minute, Mattel. A brushing station. I'm just saying. Go brush those Barbies. Brush those she dolls. Just... I'm telling you, upcharge on that one. Um, okay, so here's here's their their press release. Um, Mattel Adventure Park will be even more engaging and entertaining at launch with the addition of these iconic Mattel brand experiences. That's what the person in charge of global location-based entertainment, which is weird they have a department for that. Yeah, right. Um, but it's their expansion, they're expanding the flagship uh, park, apparently. And yeah. here's some of the announcements. So you can go ahead and read, because I keep talking. That's okay. The additional brand experiences. That's how they talk about it. Plan for Mattel Adventure Park will be highlighted by Bar the Barbie Beach House, designed to be a must-visit destination for Barbie fans. The Barbie Beach House features the Barbie Flying Theater, taking riders on a journey from deep underwater to outer space. The Dream Closet Experience... Yeah, Do I want to know? Not to be confused with other closet experiences. Uh, Barbie, through state-of-the-art hologram technology, is brought to life to help curate the ultimate wardrobe. Our daughter would have loved this. The Barbie rooftop, where guests can enjoy a selection of signature pink beverages perfectly paired with sweet and savory snacks while enjoying panoramic views of the property. That's a lot of peas. 
It's a lot of P's. Uh, Mattel Adventure Park will also feature a nine hole mini golf experience that translates the Mattel games portfolio. <laughs> this is so like, corporate. God, into an immersive environment. Families can putt putt while battling rock'em sock'em robots. Okay, that's cool though. That is actually kind of cool. Life-size Pictionary game board. Uh, Uno is gonna be there. Now here's where it gets exciting for us. Uh, Masters of the Universe's iconic Castle Grayskull has been transformed into a 4,500 plus square foot state-of-the-art laser tag arena where fans have the power to fight for Eternia. A laser tag experience will bring the world of Eternia to life and invites guests to join an epic battle to regain the power of the universe. Hopefully not based on revelations. I, I don't think so. Um, um, no, thank you. But I would like to see more about She-Ra, but again, it's probably a matter of She-Ra's tied up with DreamWorks and Universal and not so much open to, to this because, you know, I would love to see She-Ra. That would be pretty cool. So let's, let's talk about Universal a little bit here. So, uh... The Wayback Machine. Now, for those of you who don't know, again, new she -ra. I don't know if she's still there. New Ra. She was at Universal in Florida. I don't think she is now. I don't think anybody cares because the show's not on anymore. And, of course, you know, NBC Universal owns DreamWorks, you know, so they have they have the rights to She-Ra and Mattel. Do they have the Cat Dora experience behind the buildings? <laughs> That, you get the that upcharge for that. So that was the Shira closet experience. You know that that's you know, the, the how that experience. works is uh, Catra just comes up and slaps you across the face five times and then tells you she's in love with you. And you're supposed to kiss her. So you get you get slapped and then you make out. Yeah, she gaslights you for like you know an hour and then you're supposed to love her at the end. <laughs> anyway, this is not the first time that uh, He Man and Shira have been in an amusement park. This is Universal back in 1985. I don't think people realize, like, just how big He-Man and She-Ra were. They don't. Were. They just like, invented it now, don't you know? It was like kind of the, the Pokemon of... They were in the Thanksgiving Parade. Yeah. The Macy's they, Parade. They had, like, yeah, they had a show. They were on... They had their own float. Um, Man at Arms. Uh, it was a gig ginormous thing in, back in the 80s. Not his, just his, his weapon that looks really phallic, by the way. Does these two? I think they go clubbing together afterwards. Um, well, they use the club for something. Yeah, right. Uh, anyway, yeah, Man in Arms and He Man, and we've got Shira, OG Yay! Shira, with brushable hair. We have. I know hair. they would. You, I, I do not bring a brush with you to comb the hair on the actors. They do not like that. Um, so I hear this kid's uh, touching skeletal right, he's, pecs. He's gripping skeletal. I don't think he's meaning to. It's just you know the skeletal. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> then we have um, some of the other characters here. So, yeah, this was uh, pretty interesting. I didn't even know this was a thing. I didn't either. But they had a commercial for it and everything. And this, again, this is back in the 80s. Oh, my God. I would love Look that. this. It's a, it was Christmas at Universal. Yeah. I like, would have There was Catra, too, by the way. I would have loved this. So, Catra. Yeah, they're all. Wasn't that Catra over here? I thought. Or maybe not. Maybe it was um, even Fro I It looks like Frosta. Frosta's back there, yeah. Yeah, Frosta. We have Damn. the horde. Oh, no, that's Catra right there. I would, yeah, it is. Yeah. See, I would have been all about that as a child. Then they show the dolls and the action figures. So, Hordak was there, too. They must have had. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's look. Hordak. You got He Man. There she yeah. is. Brushable hair. But don't brush your hair in person because you'll get in trouble for that. God, that's actually not that I know. Really freaking mm -hmm. cool. I didn't know that was a thing. I, I knew about the parade floor. I saw the parade floor, but I did not know they actually had the chance to meet the characters. So hear before. me out, Mattel. This. Have this there too. So you can meet the characters, you know. Have She-Ra, I promise. I swear I will not bring a brush. Yeah. Oh, I think they frown upon that. They'll probably would. like check my bag and be like, oh my God, Geeky's coming. Make sure she's not brushing her damn All bag. that weird woman wants to do is touch, <laughs> touch our actor's hair. I it's know. really freaking weird. Um, <laughs> I have a feeling that, and again, you know, we don't know if Shira is going to be involved, but I have a feeling she, that. Bring Shira. Yeah, it, it's going to be based on. Um, well, I don't know. It might actually be. They bring freaking Shira. I'm going. I mean, I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's based on classic masters, but I have to wonder if, if they're going to do the, the, the new CGI show. show yeah, I wanted that too. Laser, laser tag, which I'm is more sci-fi. That's what I think they're going to do is the um, new show. So yeah, this is just uh, one holiday back in '85, and um, I was not in California at that point. We didn't go to Universal until like 1989 or 90. I think it was the first time we went. So. Um, I'm jelly, I would love to. Yeah, this, this is awesome. This is awesome. We'll we'll close on this Shira, but yeah, I don't I don't think we're gonna get her. Look, real Shira. 
actual She-Ra, real She-Ra. You know, another thing don't fall for too is if someone tells you that they're they're He-Man and that they're gonna that well that they well like, no I wouldn't fall for that. Well, I mean they're gonna tell you that they can show you how things get like bigger, like She-Ra you know transforms and gets what? bigger. Don't don't listen to them. I can show you how my sword gets bigger. Right, just like She-Ra gets bigger. Yeah. Don't 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 follow them. My I, sword um, sticks straight up in the air and then I get swole. Neon told me that twice and now we have two kids. I'm just saying, don't fall for it. Anyway, um, almost named Orko and Gwildor, but <laughs> no. changed our minds at the last minute. We're gonna, yeah. we're gonna wrap this up. Yeah. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume. Don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open and brewed through it, eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. No, run, 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 run. Oh, oh you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh she was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey, guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a... Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like, I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my god, you got the axe. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Ooh, I'm sorry. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. Can't run him carrying trash. And you can get away with one F bomb per PG 13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're going to wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>